Damn, this combo's kind of hard. So where are we going now? I was gonna discuss that with you after I'm done with the, um, the fucking Moogle. It's not even that high damage. It's difficult. It's two bars leader. Oh, you can power up your keyblades now. I didn't notice that. 39%. I can do 39% without two meters. That's weird. Alright, hold on, y'all. Uh, yeah, no, right? I can't play with this. Yeah, I cannot play with that until I fix it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna freaking go check home. I'll be right back. <sighs> oh no, I'm jacking my meat. I'm jacking my meat. And I'm hobbling because my knees are. Oh! Wetbacks are in my country. And I want them to all be happy and live free. Oh! Sorry. You got a problem with that? Sorry. I got a problem with you. Oh man, you got me. You ought to. Ah! Yeah, you the illegals out of my country. I don't want no illegals out of my country. Matter of fact, if you want the illegals out of your country, you know what you should do? Build a wall. Make them legal. That'd be cool. It's gonna be 23 degrees tomorrow. As much as I want to go to the toy box. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I guess the toy box is the next logical place to go because it has the next highest battle level based on where we've been. Uh -huh. We do have to actually fly there, though. Alright, I'm home. Fuck, my knees hurt. Mm. And me flying around to you, or at the toy box. Alright, thank you. Oh my god, you're so sweet. Oh. I really love Kingdom Hearts and everything, but I really wish they had a sound, like, a, th a thing that differentiates between the different sounds. Wait, the music needs to be turned way the fuck down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. The music is loud as shit. <laughs> Louder than Jamal's farts. I guess. He didn't disagree. Oh. So this would watch up. I like I like I like hentai that makes me immediately feel butterflies. That's my favorite kind of hentai. Like it's so sexy and weirdly arousing that it makes me go. Oh. <laughs> That's what I like. Oh fuck. I realize now that like about fat, of hentai bushy coochies. Uh. Oh, God damn it. I've never felt this much pain. Have I? What is the most pain I've ever... I think the most pain I've ever been in was my ulcer. Like, yeah, the most... The most painful... And the, like, the most lingering sensation of pain... I've ever had was my ulcer. What's the least pain you ever felt? Probably a shot, <laughs> like like just an inoculation or an injection. So you've never felt not being in pain? No. I haven't not been in pain in so goddamn long. Like I really wish I could tell you when the last time I was like completely pain free was. <sighs> being me has sucked almost the entirety of my life. 
I almost feel like I should mercy kill you. Mm -hmm. you. You give that a shot. I mean, I'm not saying like you wanna die or anything uh, like that, but just how sad that is. It's if I like, would, like, if I, if you sick. ever find me like just like on the ground, just gargling in pain, yes, you shoot me through the <laughs> fucking face and end my suffering, you bastard. Well, right good. now you're fine. No, right I mean, like... I, oh no, it still sucks. Like my knees hurt like a motherfucker. That's not a joke. <laughs> like my knees really do fucking hurt. They still. Cause right you sound now. like a wounded deer that like caught an arrow in a weird place. It's not gonna kill it, but like. But it, uh... it, it, it will kill me. Just it's gonna take a very very fucking long time. Uh... Yeah, and just bawling through life, like hating itself and wishing that just the end would come soon. And at that point, you almost feel obligated. Like I should just, I should just put you down. <laughs> if I ever come across it, like not eat the meat from your from your body at all. You should just... actually. I mean, that's how you get my strength, my emotional strength. I have lived this long in this much pain. Ah. Oh. Well, because I mean, that thing is probably infected by now. And the wound still there, and the metal just sitting uh, in your body. Like, no, no, no. no it is. <laughs> I'm not even mad. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Don't. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> but just, just a nice, nice little mercy double tap. Like, you walk up and you put the gun in your mouth. <laughs> just, ooh, just sit there and you're like, well, motherfucker, I can't pull the trigger, so. I forget what I forget what movie that is, where like somebody is slowly dying. I think you should be allowed to mercy kill your family. That's That's what assisted suicide is. Yeah, but it's not legal, and only doctors can do it in yeah. certain states. I, I think there's like only one or two states. No, I think I should. If how Logan said he wanted to die, which I'm not allowed to do, is he wants me to reenact the scene from a movie where he wants me to take him to a place overlooking the city and ask him in the 30 and he responds, and as soon as he responds, I shoot him in the head. Wait, ask you what? <laughs> I forgot what the fuck the movie is, but the guy uh, ends up killing his retired brother because of Living through the Great Depression, he can no longer take care of his brother. And uh, when they were little boys, there was this part of the city that they used to go to. This, like, hilly place just outside of town that overlooked the city, and there was a big tree by it. I swear it sounds and, like uh, he's talking about of mice and men. Maybe I am. <laughs> but that's not how that happened. <laughs> in, mice and, in Of Mice and Men, he killed his brother. Because he had to, because his brother was fucking up, like big time. His brother was killing shit. No, no, no. His brother was special needs. Yeah. He was to take care. Oh no, no, yeah, that's yeah. And of mice and men, yeah, his brother's retarded. <laughs> his brother's yeah, mentally he no handicapped. Take, yeah, his brother, he could no longer take care of his brother because of uh, they were living through the Great Depression and all this. I mean, maybe it's the same premise or whatever. I mean, it, it just but, sounds uh, really similar. It's not the same movie, I don't think. But yeah, you should see of Mice and Men with think. Gary Sinise and uh, John Malkovich. You've never he seen about the color of his head. Does he shoot him in the back of the head with a revolver? Seth, is that how he kills him? Or does he like hit him with a rock or something? I can't remember from being honest. Yeah, I think he shoots. Okay, here's what happens in the movie. He has his brother named George. He has, you know, uh, he has a brother George, and basically they never really had anybody to take care of them. So he's taking care of his brother because his brother is, you know, special. And his brother. Um, Tell me about the rabbit story. Yeah, the rabbits. Like it's. His brother just doesn't understand his own strength. Let's see, um, they was, the, the important part, they was working for this dude, they was working at this, um, at this ranch, and the ranch, I think the ranch dude's wife or girlfriend 
or daughter, probably, I think it was his daughter, was kind of just a slut. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she was flirting with her, with the dude's brother, like the big retard. Big, she was flirting with the big retard. And he didn't know, you know, he understood that he liked it. And I think what what happened, like there was a point where like she just went, she just let him like, you know, rub on her and touch her. And she tried to, and she, you know, she had, she had, she had basically, she was done. She was like, all right, that's enough, get off me. And he just kept doing it, and he got a little too aggressive, you know. You know how they say, like, you know, special needs kids always, like, pull the tail of the rabbit or, or the dog or whatever, and the dog ended up fucking biting him and some more shit? It was kind of like that. And, uh, yeah. So, what ends up happening is, he, she starts to scream, cause you know he's scaring her, but he can't let her do that, because then Can they're you gonna. Can fast forward the story a little bit? Huh? Because I've, I'm trying I've to. The <laughs> so I don't know why I let you start this, but at this point, just <laughs> he killed her <laughs> because she was about to scream, like he choked her to death. Like he choked her to death, yeah. and then left her body to be found. And his brother knew, he was like, yeah, he did this. Like, and so he takes him. Like they run away basically, to to avoid being in trouble. And you know he's telling his brother about. Uh, the, he basically asks his brother to tell him about the you know the the, the ranch they're gonna have and the farmhouse they're gonna have and all this shit. And he's you know. As he's telling the story, yeah, he just kind of walks behind. <laughs> Why is that funny to me? I don't know. Because he kind of had to. Because it's not the same movie, but the the concept of that part is extremely similar. And I want to see the movie. Text Logan right now and ask him what movie that is. Because I want to see it. Okay. But that yeah, the guys like they're old and. Dying or whatever, because he can't figure his brother anymore because he's still fucking with the person and all this other shit. Mm, man. It sounded like somebody sat on a speaker. Because he can't take care of his, care, care of his brother anymore because it's, you know, they're in the Great Depression and they're running all money and all this other shit. And uh, he's sitting out there and he's talking to his brother and they're overlooking part of the city, blah, blah, blah. And he asks his brother, and he's pretty. Brother says, yeah, something like that, and stares off and shoots him in the back of the head. So, does the brother know it's coming? Like, does the, little, the, the, the retarded no, brother know no, it's coming? Not, not at all. Okay. Yeah, because that's, like, yeah, that's how it is in him, of mice and men. Yeah, he didn't know it was coming. He did not know his brother was about to murk him off. He thought everything was copacetic and chill. And this. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> It's, it's not, it's not one of those things where you should laugh at it. And like, if I when I watch the movie, I don't think I laughed at it. But I'm just saying from the standpoint of, I get it. <laughs> like I do. I was like, your brother was a murderer, but not because he was a malicious person. You know, he tried to what? He tried to keep a puppy, and he wasn't supposed to keep a puppy. And then when he found out he had the puppy. And he's like, you can't make noise. And he yeah, basically choked the puppy to death. Just trying to keep it quiet. You never played fucking uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, have you? No. Okay, there's a part in Metal Gear Solid 4 with this. Uh, Mark, what's her name? So his brother just going around accidentally killing shit. Yeah, because he's a retard and doesn't know he's strong. And doesn't realize things need to breathe to not die. Mark, what's the girl's name in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4? Given the context of the conversation we're having, you should know which one I'm talking about. Alright, so in Metal Gear Solid 4... Oh no, it was of Meister Man. I have the story a little confused. Ah, oh, I thought it was right. Except watching the ending, I'm watching the ending again, and yeah, that was exactly... He did shoot him in the back of the head. Didn't okay. hit him a lot. Shot him. <laughs> shot him! <laughs> shot him while he's like in the middle of in the middle of telling that beautiful story. 
<laughs> his dome tap. Oh, that's not. Yeah, funny, that's that's, that's how funny. Logan wants to go. Nigga, that's murder. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, you said when he's old and like on his deathbed, he's gonna die. Jamal, anyway. you said that's, that's how still is. murder. <laughs> if you kill Logan when he doesn't see it coming, <laughs> that's murder, my my dude. I know, but it's still a beautiful sentiment. <laughs> he's like when he's old and on his deathbed, you know, these are his last days. You own your deathbed, nigga. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk I'm gonna risk the last few years of my life. No, you on your own. You just die. Well, I was gonna get about the hospital, roll him out, go to a nice little part of the city. You know, in his delusion, he starts telling me this story, and I. <laughs> Pop him in the fucking head. That's what he I wants. Ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't with the shit. Let's see. At some point, I'm honoring the dead man's wish. It was in his will. <laughs> that is euthanasia, and it is illegal. I forget That's the why name of I the... prefaced starting this conversation with. I wish this was legal. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't because my friend. X reason, <laughs> my, yeah, my, my friend forward. wants to die like this. There's this chick whose family was being hunted. Her family was being hunted by these people, and her and her little brother were hiding underneath uh, their bed. I think I think they were hiding under their bed, and her little brother was starting to cry while the people were nearby, and she freaked out. And she had, she wrapped her hand tightly around his uh around his face, and to keep him from crying or to keep his cries, you know, silent. Yeah, and when the and then when they uh they left and she took her hand away, he was he was still really quiet, and like how she like, I think they talked about how her hand was just covered in sweat and sweat and saliva and all this other stuff and yeah. <laughs> She killed, she choked her little brother to death. She suffocated him, I should say. Because she... Boy, you should have shut the fuck up. Yeah, you should have stopped crying. <laughs> four-year-old Rico. How do you be up? I, I like it here. Yeah, that's how Logan wants to go. Beautiful, right? Nigga, no! <laughs> what what, what you do you mean? You just can't kill me. He murdered a handicapped man. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking about the murder of the handicapped man. I'm 
don't know. Talk about Logan's. No, dick. okay. Well, in that case, you done just shot an old senile dude in the back of the head. And by that point, you're going to be old and fat and your heart going to be all shitty. So, when you kill Logan, when you shoot him, the, the recoil of the gun going to break your osteoporosis ridden, ridden arm. And the loud gunshot going to scare the shit out of you. You're going to shit yourself to death. Go just shit yourself and have a heart attack at the same time. So, if you want to call it romantic, yeah. You and Logan die together because you shot him. Per his request, oh, over the beautiful scene of whatever the fuck. He was like, my, 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 he was my best bro, and I killed him because he asked me to. <laughs> Meanwhile, I lay up there like, he would have died in three days. <laughs> That's like, not how he wanted to go. He was he, he don't like hospitals. He didn't want to be in a hospital. He could have went home if you, because he's gonna die in three days. He like, look. He didn't want to be in his home, man. He wanted to be out there in the wilderness, overlooking the fucking. Y'all, y'all should just went camping for three days so. straight. You probably would have died sooner if you were out in the wood, in the wilderness, just living. Oh fuck me, that is not funny, but that is funny. Well, he just wants you to commit. He wants you to, he wants you to kill him so you can go to prison after he dies. <laughs> He wanted to go. He wanted to go out fighting, man. He wanted to go. That, out. that ain't fighting, Jamal. That's just going out. <laughs> he knew it was coming. He's crying. I'm crying. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, with that being said, man, you can't do that. You can't. You can't kill him. <laughs> what? Like you can't, man. Huh? Talking, talking about the ranch or whatever the fuck, and you know what they want. Oh man, that's that's sad. That's <laughs> yeah, Jamal. That's... It is. It is sad as hell. It's not what the fuck I want. You see, there's telling it to be like, hey, this is what I thought of, and was like. Or, or I saw this and I was, and I looked at it and I was like, you know what? That's, That's how I want to kill it. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I want no. my friend Logan to die. Yeah. That right there. He saw it and was like, you know what? That's how I want my best friend to kill me. My my brother. My mm, no, mm, no, Jamal, <laughs> no. He saw that I was like, that's how we go. And uh, I, I know he's going to do it. And, and he told me his wishes. And I was like, you know what? If it's legal at that point in time, you know what, man? I'll, I'll take you out there. I'll, I'll fucking pull you out. Where the fuck you want to go, man? And, and I, 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 do, I like the fact that he thinks you're going to be <laughs> mentally sound enough to be able to make this decision. Well, he's already traveling down the road. He's doing what? She would like to see this. He's already chill. He's already chill about it. She would like to see this. Most likely, like he has a bad knee, terrible hearing, can't see, smokes two or three packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> Looking at a person here that does, if he does outlive me. You know, we are natural life courses, and you get our age. I'll, I'll be surprised. <laughs> also, acquiring it shouldn't be like John, I'll be surprised if we lived our entire life in the I wouldn't be surprised if I got killed before. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all, man. I feel like if I was to die first, like, uh, if you were to die first, he wouldn't do a damn thing for you. <laughs> he would not. He would not be like, all right, yeah, I gotta, I gotta handle my bro up. I gotta take him to the strip like club and lay him out like they did, like, like they did, uh, shot it low. Take him to the strip club one last game. Shot it, shot it low, side dead. Huh? Shot low is a dead. 
Shoddy Low is dead, man. From D4L? Yeah, Shoddy Low is dead. Oh, shit. Play about somebody different. You might, you gotta be, cause he dead. I'm thinking about the dude that made the shot of that low. <laughs> T-Pain? You thinking about T-Pain? You thought I was talking about T-Pain? You thought I said T-Pain, Dad? That's what you thought I said? That's who you thought his name was? Was Shotty got low? That's what you thought? Jamal? No. It was uh, the guy that made Apple Bottom. Uh, God damn it. That's that song. That's not T-Pain. That's um You talking about Flow Rider? Yeah. Fuck. His that name guy. still ain't Shotty Got Low. <laughs> By any stretch of the that... imagination. I thought that was his name. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's sometimes it's just good to be quiet. I I'm just gonna tell you straight up, sometimes it's good to be quiet. I don't know when you're gonna know. figure it out, I just know that. I need you to figure it out. Sometimes it's always best, just best is not say, don't say words sometimes, cause fuck my dad. If I'm 70 and I'm dying before Logan, I, I actually want him to take me out the same way. Fuck it. Okay, so you want Logan to just bust you in the knock? <laughs> you want Logan to bust you in your shit? Like, where you want to go? You want to go to the club? You want to go to a Rangers uh, game? Which one? Uh, I want the I want the same scene. Uh, take drive me back to Bacon. There's a hill that I know of in uh, this park that overlooks the city and it's fucking amazing. Uh, we'll be out there that day, probably sometime at night or sunset. We'll be talking about something. You know, tap me back there. Yeah, like if I asked you to do this, you would just be like, nah, fuck you. Oh, no, I ain't doing it. What? I ain't doing it. Well, why? It's murder. Okay. Fuck. I got enough sins under my belt. I don't, I don't need the good lord. Because I feel like at the end of the day, it's still a form of suicide. Even a assisted suicide is still suicide. It's not suicide. I'm dying anyways. Yeah, and the good Lord would prefer that you die the way he intended for you to die. He didn't intend for you to have me kill you. And if you're wondering how I know, it's because you asked me to kill you and I didn't. I wasn't doing it. So that's clearly not how he intended for this to happen. You can ask uh, Tanaja to do it. Tanaja got you. She'll put a cap in your head and then fuck you. <laughs> Well, if you did decide to do it, that's how the good Lord would have intended it, because he did it. You know what? Yeah. I feel like Logan to change his mind, though. I think, like, it's the opportunity, because I feel, I feel like knowing <laughs> you're about to die, you're a lot less okay with dying. <laughs> like, if a dude came in your house right now and had a shotgun pointed at your head and you, you couldn't get to the strap or nothing, you wouldn't be like, I don't give a fuck, nigga, shoot me. You wouldn't say that. You'd be like, oh, Lord, Mr. Mr. Shotgun Man, don't kill me. Lord, don't kill me. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Lord, God, God damn it. If I was a guy, right now, part of my house with a shotgun, I probably, the first thing that come to my mouth would most likely be you start jacking off immediately. <laughs> no. It'd probably be, why the fuck wasn't my gun by my bed? <laughs> because that's what I'm laying at right now. Mm. And it should be less than... <laughs> you know, less than like an uh, a arm limp. Like, I'm not extending my arm right now. My elbow's still folded in. And I just slapped my gun. <laughs> that's how close it is to me. So my first immediate thought is like, why the fuck is this man out there? And then it's like, Cause, okay, cause, well. You know why? Because it, it was the day that the good lord wanted you to go. That's how you knew it was time to die. Your gun went where it needed to be the one time you really did need it. Yep. It'd just be like, what the fuck? Divine plan, boy. You better know it. 